You're watching Option Rally TV. I'm your host, Amy Anderson. Here's what's happening for May 31st, 2013. Oil surges despite jobless claims. Gold spikes on U.S. gloom. And lastly, negative GDP casts misery over the U.S. dollar. Your daily review is starting now. Oil got enough support Thursday and Friday despite the U.S. initial jobless claims coming in higher than expected, usually lowering oil demand. The lower dollar and stockpiles boosted the barrel enough leading towards the weekend. Oil opened Thursday at 92.89 and lifted in at 93.73, continuing to the wee hours of Friday. Well, gold finally broke through the once elusive 1400 border and got the perfect news, investor lack of confidence. As long as the US cannot find peace with the bond program, gold may continue to surge. Gold opened Thursday at 1380.25 and spiked to 1416.85 on Friday morning. The dollar weakened against the most major currencies on Thursday after the U.S. government revised its first quarter gross domestic product growth rate down a percentage point, which compromised expectations for the Federal Reserve to scale back monetary stimulus measures. Euro to U.S. dollar opened Thursday at 1.2941 and lifted to 1.3034, continuing to Friday's trade. Canadian Fridays! Canada gets its turn to report its gross domestic product, which measures the annualized change in the inflation adjusted value of all goods and services produced by the economy. It is the broadest measure of economic activity and the primary indicator of the economy's health. A stronger than expected number should be taken as positive for the loonie. And finally, today is the last day of the Option Rally Marathon. Trade the most volume today on Option Rally and take home $20,000 cash. I'm Amy Anderson. For your daily dose of the market, follow me at OptionRally.com and on my Facebook. See you Monday.